Bed Bath & Beyond shares, well, we don't know what they're doing because they've been <laughs> bouncing around so much. Right now they're up 7.6. A little, a little secret for those of you at home, frequently in the scripts they write, the shares of such and such are XX because we don't know what they'll be doing. And that's especially true in the case of Bed Bath & Beyond <laughs> because it swings around so much. The shares finished the day up yesterday by nearly 24%. That was the 13th time the stock has gained in the last 14 trading sessions, but it was trading down this morning now it's trading higher. Saz is is focused these days on Bed Bath & Beyond. You got a lot of flack yesterday on social media, Twitter and Reddit. You posted those pictures from your visits to Bed Bath & Beyond over the weekend. Yeah. You heard from some people. Uh, that is an understatement. And love it. I, I say, by all means, keep it coming. And like I mentioned yesterday as well, we have no positions in Bed Bath & Beyond. We were not paid to write this story. This is called reporting, folks. <laughs> so some of your tweets that you have been hitting me with the past 24 hours uh, are, like I said yesterday, garbage and ridiculous. So I spent most of my night last night really digging back into the financials and the fundamentals of Ben Bath & Beyond. I stand by a lot of the analysis that I brought to life <clears throat> in that story now on yahoofinance.com and the yahoo.com homepage, just underscoring the challenges inside of this business. Lots of clearance items, lots of deep, deep discounting, empty shelves. So here are my uh, 10 reasons why this company's future is far from certain, which is really backed by the fundamentals and a, a, just a, a reasonable analysis of where this company is. Zombie leadership. Uh, you have an interim CEO at the company with executives she didn't pick. So it's very important, I think, for Bed Bath to some way, somehow find a permanent CEO who's going to come in and guess what? Probably going to get rid of most of the people on that executive team because they didn't hire them. Next up, the company uh, is, need, is in need of a lot of cash and very soon, again, exited that quarter most recent with a, a little over $100 million in cash. That is a terrible spot to be in for a retailer operating close to 1,000 stores. Too many stores, uh, given its financial troubles. That's point number three. Point four, sales are tanking badly. This company's sales have gone up in smoke. Billion dollars of lost sales in recent years because of market share loss. Vendors could start to be might start to be losing confidence in the company. It will be interesting to see if Bed Bath could get uh, the merchandise it needs for the holidays. And then reason <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 mm. folks will wipe the slate clean. Amazon, Wayfair, Target, Walmart, Ikea, all have better inventory, all are in stock, all offering better prices. That's why the future is uncertain for this company. You're just glutton for punishment, aren't you? I love it. Keep it going because, you know, I, I understand their passion and I understand why they're investing in this company. I get the Reddit community, but I encourage everyone, pull up the 10K on Bed Bath. Read the financial statements. These things matter. Now, if there's any positive here, GameStop, another meme stock, only uh, they have over a billion dollars in cash. So GameStop, you know, we've been critical of them, but hey, they have a billion dollars in cash. Guess what? Bed Bath does not have that. Maybe they'll buy Bed Bath. <laughs> Maybe they will. It's consolidation. Keep it coming. Keep, Keep the coming. critiques coming. I love it all. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone should know who is signing your checks because you say Yahoo Finance platform more than anything else. So it's, yes. it's, yeah. it's, it's not some. This is reporting. It's not some it's short analysis. seller of, of Bed Bath & Beyond. Reporting. <laughs> it's what we do here.